locked in arms and joined together by the deepest of sorrows, families and friends who lost loved ones to the opioid crisis, among them Joanne Pacheco. Her son, Spencer Daniel, died a few weeks ago in April after suffering a fentanyl heroin overdose. Maybe this is for you. I'm being strong for you. We have to save lives. The pain still raw, but determined to speak out at the event marking National Fentanyl Awareness Day. Mothers, fathers, elected officials, and substance abuse counselors all gathering to sound the alarm about what they call the public health crisis of our time. The DEA calls this the sing single deadliest drug threat our nation has ever encountered. Illicit fentanyl claims one life every eight and a half minutes. And that's why every eight and a half minutes, a rattle during the ceremony symbolized another life cut short. These rocks represent the victims of the opioid epidemic. Every day across the nation, 175 people die due to fentanyl. Experts say that in some deaths, the person is unaware if they are taking a drug laced with fentanyl, and they warn that many other drugs are tainted with traces of the hard to detect, but often lethal substance. This is not a Suffolk County issue, or a Nassau, or a Long Island, or a New York issue. What can we do? Let people know that the national drug supply is tainted with fentanyl. Some saying the staggering numbers show a bleak picture about mental health in the U.S. Why are people willing, right, to stick a needle in their arm, right? How much pain are they in that they're looking for, you know, to relieve themselves of the pain? But the pain of his battle with addiction is not how this mom wants to remember her son. My son was a beautiful soul. He made everybody laugh. And unfortunately, yes, he was sick with a disease and I fought it with him and I was dying with him. And he was a mama's boy, so I got him cremated, so wherever I move, he goes with me. 